the largest in the world. Chinese companies lead TBM construction in Georgia. At the end of April, China's key project in Georgia, the Godori Mountain Tunnel, was completed. A super-large shield machine weighing 3,900 tons directly penetrated the mountain, and the excavation depth reached 8,860 meters, which is as high as Mount Everest. At the completion ceremony, the Prime Minister of Georgia came to deliver a speech, deeply lamenting the powerful strength of China's infrastructure maniac. In this video, let us learn more about it. Georgia's North-South Corridor Highway is an important passage connecting Russia, Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan and other neighboring countries. The mountain the project penetrates is called Gudori Mountain, located at the southern foot of the Greater Caucasus Mountains. About 120 kilometers north of Tbilisi, the capital of Georgia, with an altitude of 2,196 meters, it is a famous ski resort. Due to heavy snowfall in the winter, avalanches occur frequently. As a result, the original winding mountain road is always blocked by snow, and traffic is restricted for about six to seven months of the year. This time, the newly built North-South Corridor Road Tunnel passes through the bottom of the Godori Ridge which will completely solve the problem of winter traffic interruption in the mountainous area in the future. It is reported that the Godori Tunnel is 8,860 meters long and has a two-way, two-lane design. It is currently the largest single infrastructure project in Georgia. Due to the complex local geological conditions, high process standards and high technical difficulty, the traditional drill and blast method cannot meet the construction requirements. The construction used the Caucasus, 15.08 meter diameter single shield hard rock boring machine jointly developed by China Railway Equipment Group and China Railway Tunnel Bureau, making the tunnel the largest diameter TBM tunnel project currently under construction in the world. During the construction period, Chinese companies continued to optimize construction plans, strengthen process management, and actively overcome difficulties in engineering technology, natural environment, life security, and other aspects, once again showing China's speed to the world in Georgia. Since its launch in September 2021, the highest monthly tunneling footage of the Caucasus. TBM has reached 426 meters, setting a new record in the history of super-large diameter TBM tunnel construction. On April 23, 2024, the world's largest diameter single-shield hard rock boring machine, TBM, Caucasus, broke out of the rock in the Godori Mountains in northern Georgia. The Godori Tunnel in the north-south corridor of Georgia constructed by a Chinese enterprise, was successfully completed. The total length of the North-South Corridor Highway in Georgia is 22.7 kilometers, and the NRT-1 standard project line constructed by China Railway Tunnel Bureau has a total length of 10 kilometers. The Godori Tunnel tops the Greater Caucasus Mountains. Nearly half of its length is buried more than 700 meters deep, with the maximum depth reaching 1,121 meters, the highest of the entire tunnel. Drilling a tunnel in such a deep place requires very high overall strength of the tunnel. The shield machine used by China Railway Tunnel Bureau has a diameter of 15.08 meters, a total length of 182 meters, a total weight of 3,900 tons, a maximum thrust of 22,600 tons, and a total power of 9,900 kilowatts, which is the largest in the world. The shield machine started in September 2021 and dug 20 meters every day. By April 23rd, the tunnel was completed, 30 days ahead of the overall construction plan. 
The Caucasus Hard Rock Boring Machine has an excavation diameter of 15.08 meters, a total machine length of 182 meters, a total weight of 3,900 tons, and a maximum installed power of 9,900 kilowatts. As the world's largest diameter hard rock boring machine, the Caucasus TBM adopts Chinese design, Chinese standards, and is independently manufactured in China. For the first time, the equipment adopts synchronous excavation assembly technology on a hard rock boring machine and is equipped with targeted designs such as active articulation, two-way rotating cutter head, and two-speed reducer. It can not only achieve precise adjustment of the main engine posture and rapid escape under adverse geological conditions, but also ensure efficient excavation construction under good surrounding rock. Since the beginning of the epidemic, Chinese companies have responded scientifically, planned ahead, and organized rationally. They overcame unfavorable geology such as weak soil layers, sudden surges of toxic and harmful gases, and development of groundwater. They also overcame the adverse conditions such as high temperatures in the project location, long winter construction period, and scarcity of local materials. It also achieved the best results of TBM footage of 20 meters per day and 420 meters per month. Construction materials and accessories are scarce in Georgia, and engineering materials are mostly imported from China, Turkey, Spain, France, and other countries. Affected by the international environment, sea and land transportation cycles are long and uncontrollable. In addition, the project is located in the Caucasus Mountains and the construction period is long in winter. The only transportation channel is often interrupted due to heavy snowfall, often for up to a month, making it difficult to access the site for production and living materials. At the same time, the lack of management and technical personnel related to TBM construction has affected on-site construction organization, material storage, and project progress. Faced with the long winter cycle, harsh construction environment, repeated epidemics, scarcity of materials, and inconvenient transportation, the project department carried out hierarchical management and control of various materials and accessories, established an inventory early warning mechanism, and ordered in advance. At the same time, the project department organized multiple expert seminars, sent dedicated personnel to neighboring countries for communication and negotiation, and worked hard to ensure material supply and labor needs through various channels, effectively overcoming the adverse factors that hindered the smooth progress of the project. The Georgia North-South Corridor KK Highway Tunnel Project is located in the Mskitam Tyanyeti region in northern Georgia, bordering Russia in the north, about 136 kilometers away from the Georgian capital Tbilisi, and about 30 kilometers away from the Georgian-Russian border port. China Railway Tunnel construction personnel said that from the perspective of short-term benefits, the project will definitely be loss-making. However, this project has promoted Georgia to become an important transportation hub connecting Central Asia and the Far East with Russia, and Europe becoming an important node of the Belt and Road Initiative. Georgian Prime Minister Kobasi said that this project has effectively promoted the rapid development of tourism development, labor employment, border trade and other industries related to the national economy and people's livelihood in the northern mountainous areas of Georgia. It will also further expand Georgia's modern transportation channel system and better connect transportation with neighboring countries. The Belt and Road Initiative not only brings technology and funds, but also friendship and hope. The newly built KK Highway Tunnel passes through the bottom of the Gudori Mountain Ridge. 
Once completed, it will completely solve the problem of winter traffic interruption in the Gudori Mountains. It can effectively improve road traffic efficiency and driving safety, and effectively promote the development of cultural tourism, labor employment, border trade and other fields in the mountainous areas of northern Georgia. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.